All right, guys, so this is my project. Look at that guy. Tore apart real nice. size uh, 325 and it had uh, that hammer on it so what I think I'm gonna do is all this stuff here has got to come off uh, that way I can remove this piece here and once I remove this piece actually I'm gonna try and make some slits and try and cut this to where I can flex this back over Cut some uh, room in here so this can close up correctly. Cut a lot of this off here uh, so this can close back up. And that kind of bulged out a little bit there. And just basically cut a lot of room so it, it can all close back up together right. <clears throat> that way this point here can touch this point here roughly. And then uh, I'll, I'll tack it in place. And then start removing or uh, replacing panels in front. Back. Then the sides up to about this point here, I'll, I'll make a cut, a nice clean cut. It's here where it transitions to a thicker piece. There's a, a backer plate in here somewhere, right there. The backer plate in there, and up in here. So I just cut this line nice and straight. Put another backer plate as I put this piece on here. Hopefully that will give me some uh, good penetration there. This here is roughly almost three eighths. This one here is about half inch. These sides, I don't know how thick they are yet. I'll check them out as I'm cutting. The mechanic's gonna come out and pull all this stuff off for me tomorrow. All this junk here, get it off. Then I need to go get some material. So hang tight and you'll see the progress. See ya. All right, so good news. Uh, never mind what I said earlier about having to cut those pieces apart and let them close up I was able to maneuver the machine I, I pulled the uh, cylinder where is that right there I pulled the cylinder in and it uh, it pulled it up tight but sometimes what happens is or can happen is that this material gets too stretched and you won't be able to close it back together but here it worked out pretty well so I was able to put some stitch welds here and there up on top and so um, now it'd be a matter of hopefully that holds while I uh, move the cylinder out of the way and then start removing this uh, quick attach assembly H-link dog bones cylinder the cylinder can stay it didn't bend up at all so good thing for them so after that then now what I can do is being that this is held in place I'll cut a section of this back about maybe to about right here and go down as far as I can maybe even this area here and I'll cut that front face off and see if if it's nice and straight and parallel with the boom hopefully it's still straight enough that it won't get uh, affected by misalignment but there's so much play in these things well not now it's on the ground but uh, there's so much play that it, it should be fine so uh, next step is to get all this junk off and see where we go from there. See ya. So everything looks good. Held together well. Uh, that little gap there shouldn't be too bad. Then you got the, the crack there. That down there. That should look pretty straight once you put a straight edge to it. So, it's a matter of getting that off. Getting this piece off. Look at that bow in that thing you got. out a little bit here you can see I repaired it a while back right in here my needle scaler marks get the so get some material uh, start chopping it up and get it 
her done. All right, hang tight. Well, another correction. Being that it closed up, it looked like it was all nice and good, but actually this thing was bent. And maybe that's why those stops had to be put on down there. That boom is not parallel. So, see a big old gap in there. Well, this way, up into here. That's way off. Same thing with under here. See that? That could be a big part of the problem with what was going on. With this not sitting right. Uh, this guy right here at least. Okay, so uh, I'm going to actually cut these welds apart and it'll be gapped or it'll have a gap in it but I need to make sure that the front and back are parallel I'll use my straight edge and uh, tack it in place at that position and then make the repairs from that point It makes more sense now because this is buckled in it's sunk in pretty deep and this bulged out so it must have kicked up like this somehow over time So, back to square one Let's uh, cut these guys loose, space it out uh, the, the proper amount to make it flat, and then tack it back together. All right, see ya. All right, so you see how big a gap it was now. Huge gap, maybe about three eighths or so. Now I ended up cutting another piece here, but I'll show you with a straight edge what I was talking about. lot better there all the way up and down before there was a, a gap right there in the center uh, the uh, dipper stick was pointed down a little bit so now let me back to the same principle I was telling you about earlier uh, I welded this up here to hold it in position and uh, I'll cut this plate maybe about here and way down here and replace that section at a time uh, hopefully that'll hold replace the bottom section and then uh, make a nice clean cut right along there and then replace the section of this and the same thing with the other side so things are looking good uh, I'm gonna have to pause a little bit on this guy because we gotta move on to something else and get materials so uh, I'll see you guys soon all right well it looks like I'm back at this thing it's been a couple weeks now left it in this position i'm so glad it didn't come apart because they were using the in the stick there to push down on the ground in different spots and just tacked it they used it to change all these rollers out on the bottom side both sides man oh man you could have busted that end right off but oh well it worked so good for them and all 18 of them, so that's a 3, 6, 9, yeah, 18 of them. That's crazy. But now, it's back to getting. So basically, oh man, did they tear a chunk up? No, that was me. So, yeah, I guess it's straight. I'll put a plate, plate here backer plate here uh, weld it up I'll leave it a little bit long this way then I'll just put a straight edge and cut this when I get done do that side do this side and then I will most likely cut it somewhere in here it transitions from a thicker piece here to a thinner piece so this piece that I add is only going to be maybe about that wide right there from there to there same thing with the other side looks like they had a backer plate in there originally as well which is good I'll try and do the same and where these plates in here I'm actually going to gouge further up to about here so as I weld this this will be a continual weld this way to kind of a little bit better strength instead of just a real sharp stress area I don't know what you call that but either way that's what I do 
start by there gouge it all up make one continuous well same thing past here past here this way and this will be uh, filled in and backer plate like I mentioned earlier so material should be showing up here in a second it's on the other part of a job <coughs> this flowed pretty good That out of it and probably cut that guy back here too somewhere in there cut that right there i was really glad that it turned out it straightened out real nice I put a straight edge along the back here and uh it's nice and straight so when i put that plate it'll be nice and straight same thing probably cut this piece oh maybe down here i guess and up here And maybe about 16 inches or so. There's my baby. Anyway, well, hopefully I can get it done. We got some really cold weather coming in the next couple of days. Um, I think Thursday morning, hit him in the upper 30s. Here's almost 70 now. It's fantastic. All right. Well, hang tight. We'll see uh, next step in a little bit. I get done filling that up and making it look halfway decent uh, and I replace this this plate is actually gonna get cut somewhere in here right in there ish and right around here so this I don't know if you can tell but it got sunk in so uh, back to what I was saying I end up gouging way back here once I replace this plate it'll just be one continuous weld same thing over here I'll pass it up by two or three inches. That way, all the stress is running in line with it. And these here will also have backing plates. Hopefully that's enough, because I can kind of feel it where it's sunk in. And here transitions from this thick piece, I think it's a one inch, three quarter actually, three quarter to thinner. I've got half inch. And this is gonna be a, a sharp edge. It's not gonna be tapered like the factory, but it'll let me have a fillet right in that area. It should blend in all right. Didn't have any issues. And what else? That's it. All right. Next step. See you. cleaned it up <clears throat> and I got the uh, backing plates in here in this area and this should be good enough they're just 316 or something no big deal but anyway so I cleaned these surfaces up even though I didn't really need to uh, especially between here and here because that's the section that's going to be cut out I made those notches because this part is 90 to this weld so uh, I thought I'd cut a little clearance there. Once I put that plate up with the square underneath it, mark my line this way. Same thing here, mark my line this way. Then I'll cut this side out. And same with the other side, cut the bad part out. And so now pretty much is just put the this side of the plate here 
I've already got to cut out and put a bevel in it. It should be roughly about a three eighths. Uh, yeah, I think three eighths each side or so. Eh, more or less. So it'll definitely get full penetration, except for here. Either way. So I weld that up, and this will be done. This will be done, and then I can focus on cutting these out. But I'm actually gonna have to do that in the next couple of days because we've got some really cold weather coming, upper 20s. I don't wanna have to preheat this thing like crazy and try to keep up with it and try to chase the heat around and make sure it stays warm. So I'll probably wait till Friday. I guess you don't know what day it is, but... <laughs> Either way, so that's my plan. Put this plate on and hopefully I can get a, another little photo of it or a video of it when I get done here in a second. So, cut that out. Now I'll be uh, installing some backing plates uh, in here. Same thing with the other side, clean that up. Should have gone around this a little bit better, but I'll see what I do. I don't know. Um, take a measurement, backing plate. I'd like to give myself maybe a quarter inch or 5 sixteenths root opening. And then, Start welding. So we're getting close. I should be done done uh, soon. All right, see you guys.
right, so here we are. Come back to this thing. Uh, it rained a couple days, so I had to stop. And so basically here's what I was talking about. Uh, gouging a little bit past each side, right in that area. And I'll be filling all that in. And so I did the same thing on the top side, bottom side, uh, all the way both sides. So now get to welding here shortly. I didn't finish welding the, the uh, patch plate, so I gotta preheat it. Got my little stand set up there. It's, uh, it's I think 41, feels a little too cold. So we'll be warming it up for a little bit and then and then uh, filling it in. So almost there. So it should be done hopefully this afternoon. Uh, then I don't like much, right? So just warm it up plenty so it doesn't crack, doesn't uh, have any issues. And so hopefully that'll work. All right, see you guys. got done so there it is it's not the best not the worst but it ain't falling off and uh, believe it or not there's something else I got to do with this thing check this out up in here so I can get up there without falling check out that baby Got it pretty good. Oh man, it broke even further than I thought. That one's gonna stink. Back when it was a crack, I repaired it way down here. And uh, that held for a little while. But I guess it popped loose. So, that's my next step on this machine. That and that. Alright, anyway, see you guys.